lot of times when parents approach kids, it immediately a kid, I don't know whether they have their backup or parents come across as preachy or lectury. So how do you actually engage a kid in these talks? I mean, you have enough experience with them. How do you engage them so that they don't feel like they're being talk to yeah <laughs> you lock them in the car and you drive <laughs> <in> hours <laughs> that's what my mom used to do let's go for a drive <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think again you partner with other trusted adults so it's I, questions not answers it's staying vulnerable i always learn something in every conversation i have with a young person about something i think i know everything about i learn something about peer pressure about the specifics of the risk or the choice that they've made about the dynamics of the culture that they're living in i mean i truly learn something every single time um do something i think busy hands equal busy mouths and if they don't have to look at you the conversation gets a lot easier and that can be bowling it can be a puzzle it can be baking it can be writing thank you notes do something like mm-hmm. sitting down to have a talk is terrifying yeah you remember that as young people right and it's it's extra like scary as the adult. And then the adult does all the talking because they can't sit in silence. Learn to sit in silence. Questions, not answers. Be vulnerable and do something. Those are my tips for parents. You know, I think what you said about trying to be silent is really important because, and trying not to judge, because I think ultimately, like if your child is raised in your home, they have values that are somewhat in alignment with your values. And I literally just had this experience with my son about Grand Theft Auto. And what he said didn't make me happy, but I could see in his face that I, I, Danielle was there, but I mean, I could see that he was getting a little emotional feeling like we were angry at him for it. And I was like, I just want to be clear. I'm not angry because this is like, this is true for you, you know, and I know you're a good kid. Um, but once he felt like I wasn't judging him, I, he was able to articulate more clearly what it was that he liked about it and why to him it didn't seem like a bad thing where to me it seemed like pure evil, you know? 